Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Movie Melee. We got another exciting match for you this evening. We got a debut match in the team's division. We got, on one hand, we have From Queer to Eternity, which is the team of Adelaide Spence and Matthew Chen, fresh off of both of them having a great seasons last year individually in uh, singles. We'll see if hopefully their, their success there will translate uh, over into teams where they are now forming the team for the first time. Very exciting. And then on they will be facing the team Tequila Mockingbird, I believe, uh, which is Alex Martinez and Joe Fairley, uh, which was a team that was supposed to debut last year. Unfortunate circumstances held that from happening, but we're very happy to see him here today. Uh, I think I don't know. I think outside of the lo unfortunate situation with La Roja 5 last year, I don't know if we've seen Alex Martinez in Melee, so it's exciting to see him playing here for the first time. And Joe is also a very strong uh, an underrated player, I feel like, in Melee, so we're happy to have him back as well. So without any further ado, let's jump into the pre-match interviews, starting with uh, our first team, Tequila Mockingbird. We got Joe Farrelly and Alex Martinez. Uh, guys, uh, you're playing your first match here today as a team in Melee. How are you feeling about, uh, well, your opponents this evening in uh, Adelaide and Matthew? Yeah, yeah. good. It's, like I said, we... Hang out plenty on street, other stream yards with uh, Spence and Matthew, and yeah, this should be good. It'll be good. Cool. All right. Well, the best of luck to you guys. Short, sweet, to the point. I like it. Uh, we will now bring in your opponents for this evening. Uh, one, Matthew Chen and Adelaide Spence. Uh, it is from Queer to Eternity, uh, guys. You're now, like I said, you guys are played. You guys played fantastically individually last season, and now you're now forming. For the first time as a team, uh, thoughts on the match today and your opponents? I feel like we've wanted to play together for a while, and it's never really coalesced. So it's nice to like find time in two division in a division that we both really love and can like prioritize. So I'm hoping that you know today, the fruits of our labor of watching stupid fucking James Bond movies, which <laughs> no one ever wants to watch or likes or wants to exist in the fucking universe. Joe, yeah. you're bringing. I got to watch else. Dalton. So actually, that wasn't terrible. But <laughs> Roger Moore. Makes you want to jump off a fucking cliff. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited to be here. Uh, you know, Spence and I finally teaming up. I think that's we're going to be a, a fun team to be around, and uh, I'm excited. All right, sounds good. Well, then we will get right into it, starting with round number one, which will work like this. It is the uh, whiteboard round, so the teams will be asked eight questions in eight different categories of movie trivia, which they will answer individually on their whiteboards. If anyone gets all eight questions right, they will be asked a bonus question. Each team has three repeats and one challenge to use for the entirety of the match. Any questions before we get started? All right. Then we will get right into round number one, starting with the category of biopics. Who stars as Truman Capote in Capote? A film that I have yet to see but I really want to because I've heard good things. I don't have much else. I had to rush home to get here today. That was fun. Anyways, countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Alex first. Philip Seymour Hoffman. And Spence. I feel like watching Capote on a Monday. Philip Seymour Hoffman. And Joe. Philip Seymour Hoffman. And Matthew. Philip Seymour Hoffman. Clean sweep. Philip Seymour Hoffman is correct. So your next question will come in the category of recent releases. In Barbie, what does Ken say his job is? <laughs> Already this more points than I scored. Points than I scored last time. <laughs> <laughs> We're all about. We love imp to see improvements on this channel. Nice. <laughs> It's all right, Alex, right. you can put the pen down after Five, this. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Spence first. My job is just beach. And Joe? I knew I should have bought the I'm just, I'm, I am Kinoff hoodie for this, but never mind. Beach. And Matthew? Beach. And Alex? Beach. Beach is correct. Another clean sweep. Four to four as we get into your next category of family. You will find a duck named Ferdinand, a dog named Rex, and a cat named Duchess in what 90s family film? 
hope I said that correct. Duchess? Maybe Duchess? Maybe it's French. I don't know. I don't want to give any hints. Maybe it's not Duchesse. French. Who, said, who knows? Don't listen to anything I say from here on out. Except for the questions. You probably need to hear those. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Pens down. We'll go to Joe first. Go to Doolittle. And we'll go to Matthew. I just put something down really quick. Homeward bound. And Alex? I don't have it. And Spence? Babe? Babe is correct. Thanks. So only Spence gets that point. Five to four as we now get into your next question in the category of Oscars. What Oscar did both From Here to Eternity and To Kill a Mockingbird win? <laughs> <laughs> I read that question for the first time <laughs> right then. Cool. That's lovely. I'm assuming if I had to right. read the mind of the Where question writer, they started with From Here to Eternity and then said, maybe I should include the other <laughs> movie so it's not biased. Oh, fuck. Which one is it? Five. Oh, no. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Matthew first. I just went with adapted screenplay. And Alex? I said best adapted screenplay. And Spence? Is it adapted screenplay? And Joe? Is it best adapted screenplay? You're all correct. Best adapted <laughs> screenplay. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny, you missed uh, the questions that, of the films that you're named after. So good job. Your next question will come in the category of sports. Tequila, sir. Sorry, <laughs> my mistake. <laughs> what is what is the nickname of quarterback Jerry Harris in Remember the Titans? I don't know if I said it, but this is in the category of sports, just in case that narrows it down for you. Fun times. I have nothing else for banter with myself for this question. So we're now going to wait for two seconds for the countdown. Cool. Five, four, Three, Dylan, you're a great two, host. One, thank you. Pens down. Uh, we'll go to Alex first. My favorite Cherokee host, Rev. <laughs> and we'll go to Spence. A mean machine. And Joe. Sunshine. And Matthew. Sunshine. Uh, Rev is correct. So oh. only Alex gets that one. Nice. And we are all tied up seven to seven as we get in your next question in the category of directors. Who directed The Never-Ending Story, In the Line of Fire, and Air Force One? No more perfect rounds. Forgot to say that. Good match so far. Close. like to see it. Five, four, three, two, one. Ends down. We'll go to Spence. Wolfgang Peterson. And Joe. Wolfgang Peterson. And Matthew. Wolfgang Peterson. And Alex. Roland Denmark. Wolfgang Peterson is correct. So uh, from from Queer to Eternity takes the one point lead again, nine to eight, as we get into your penultimate question in this round in the category of crime. Betsy and Tom volunteer at what specific kind of place in Taxi Driver? Interesting stuff. I have nothing, absolutely nothing to say for this question. This has been rough. I'm sorry, guys. Next next match will be a better round one. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Joe first. A political campaign HQ. And uh, Matthew? Yeah, I just said homeless shelter. Oh. And Alex? Soup kitchen. And Spence? voting center uh, i believe we can only accept uh joe's answer that's fair yeah yeah so the score again tied up nine to nine as we now get into your uh last question round one in the category of the 2010s what is the name of the investment firm jordan belfort founds in the the wolf of wall street I need to rewatch this film. So good. 
Definitely saw it way too young, though. Whoops. Yeah, Cody agrees. I need to rewatch this. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. Repeat, one. repeat. Okay, that is uh, from Creator Eternity's first repeat. Your question again. What is the name of the investment firm Jordan Belfort founds in The Wolf of Wall Street? <sighs> Solo hosting. What a time. What a time. Mm. But check out the Jedi um, Master's Cup. We <laughs> can't do that, Joe. <laughs> Pens down. We'll go to Matthew first. This is Scrapper Beaumont. Oh. And Alex. Bain Capital. And Spence. Stratton Oak Bonds. Yeah. And Joe. Stratton Oakmont. Damn. Stratton Oakmont is correct. Two score so. easy questions. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Whoops. Anyways, I believe I have the score tied up still 10 to 10 coming out of round number one. Uh, mm -hmm. So we will now get into round number two, which will work. Which will work like this: it is the wheel round. So each team will get the chance to spin the wheel, which will decide what category they'll be answering questions in. They'll be asked five questions apiece, each worth two points, unless they check down a multiple choice, in which case it is worth one point. Uh, and stealing is available in this round. The categories on the wheel tonight are Audrey Hepburn, fandom, James Bond, 1970s horror, musicals, comic book movies, 1980s, and romance. So uh, since we are all tied up, but uh, from Queer to Eternity won the coin toss beforehand, they are technically the favorites. So would you guys like to spin first or defer to uh, your opponents? I've forgotten name. Tequila Mockingbird. That's the one. <laughs> I think we agreed to uh, defer. Yeah, I think let's defer. Yeah. All right. Well, then Tequila Mockingbird, this will be your first uh, spin. And on the category of the 1980, I'd like to keep that or spin again. Too broad. Don't like it. Too broad. These are the worst are the worst decade. Um yeah, let's let's spin again. It's not that bad. A decade. Uh, spinning again? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, yes, for yeah. film. I'm sure the decade was fine. For film it was <laughs> an awful. And you land on the category of fandom James Bond. <laughs> Eat. <laughs> Eat. All right. So then your first question in fandom James Bond. Are you ready? Sure. Yeah. All right. Who plays Ernst Stavro Blofeld in Diamonds Are Forever? Charles Gray. Okay. Yeah. It's just a jump to the left. Charles Gray. Final answer. <laughs> Correct for two points. Your next question. What is the name of El... Oh, sorry, let me try that again. What is the name of Elliot Carver's media conglomerate in Tomorrow Never Dies? Uh, so the newspaper is tomorrow. No, the whole the thing media is, conglomerate yeah. is the Carver Media Group Network. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Carver Media Group Network. Final answer. That is correct for two points. And your third question: Franz Sanchez has what kind of pet in License to Kill? This is the bird. It's right. No, no, it's a lizard. lizard. No, yeah, it's a lizard. The lizard. Final answer. We didn't say it specifically, so I think we can accept that for two points. Your next question. At the end of "Live and Let Die," Semedi can be seen at what mo? Sorry, let me try that again. At the end of "Live and Let Die," Baron Semedi can be seen on what mode of transportation? It's the train. Train on Lonson. That is correct for two more points. So now your final question in this category. Inspector, after Q puts a tracker in Bond's arm, what gadget does he give him? Set the watch. Yeah, he only gives him the watch because the car belongs to 009, so he steals that later. Yeah, yeah the tracker's the smart blood, so yeah, watch, final answer. And that is correct for two points and the clean sweep of the category. I knew none of those, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
So we'll now bring back the wheel for what will be From Queer to Eternity's first spin. Unfortunately, land on the, the opponent's bad? choice. So, Tequila, Mockingbird, what would you like uh, to give them? I mean, 70s or 80s seems like the ones that they're most likely to falter on. Or we could try comic book movies for steals, whichever one you think is best. Um, I think we go, I think we go with the decade. It's broader. It's a little bit you know, more out there. It just depends whether you feel more comfortable. I would feel more comfortable stealing 80s, but they yeah, are more recent. Yeah. Let's do that then, 80s. The 1980s. All right. So then your first question in the category of the 1980s, are you guys ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Who directed Twins? That's Ivan Reitman, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Ivan Reitman, final answer. That is correct for two points. Second question. How do the employees think they have killed their boss in nine to five? Do you remember this? <sighs> Could it be like a car accident? I um, want to say it's something out of a what I would want to go multiple. I want to say it's something from a height. Okay. Okay. Let's go multiple yeah. choice. Then. Yeah. Multiple right. choice. Your options are A, poisoned, B, strangled. C, hit by a car, or D, hit in the head with a coffee pot? It could be strangled. Just like, that's the one that stood out to me. Have you seen it? Oh, well, like five years ago. Like okay. Can you read ago. the options? Yep. Your options again are A, poisoned, B, strangled, C, hit by a car, or D, hit in the head with a coffee pot? So I, I'm thinking poisoned. And I think because they also have coffee pot, it's like a connection where it might be like the two mm -hmm. options. They're trying to like mm -hmm. conflate it. Yeah. I want to say they like poison the drink. I'm just I'm not sure. I haven't seen this in a long time. So I Michael was just saying it's wrangled. So Five. Where, how, how do you want to go? Four. Three. Up to you. Two. Poison, final answer. That is correct for one yeah. point. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Your next question. RJ McCready. Dr. Blair and Childs are characters in what 80s sci-fi movie? The Thing. Final answer. Final answer. <laughs> Correct for two points. So now your penultimate question in this category. What Shakespearean play are the characters putting on in Dead Poets Society? I just watched the episode this came up in. It's a Midsummer Night's Dream. Okay, go. Yeah. A Midsummer Night's Dream. Final answer. It's correct for two points. And now your final question in this category. What actor has appeared in the following 80s films? The Big Easy, Jaws 3D, and Inner Space. Do you have any idea? Have, I, I, Zero fucking clue. You know, um, you multiple. I don't know. Yeah. Very many I, 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 I don't know anyone in fucking Inner Space is the problem. Yeah, the Big Easy I was like briefly heard about, but uh, like, let's go multiple. Yeah, multiple, yeah, multiple choice. Your options are A, Kevin Bacon, B, Charlie Sheen, C, Kevin Costner, or D, Dennis Quaid. I want to say it's D. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. I, I honestly have no idea, so. D, final okay. answer. That is correct for one point. Right. Interspace, we're talking about on Blank Check. Only reason I had any info. <laughs> I've only seen one of those, and that film had Dennis Quaid in it. So, and none of the others. Coming out of round number two, we have a very close and high-scoring game, I believe, at Te Tequila Mockingbird in the lead, 20 to 18. So we will now get into round number three, which will work like this. It is the uh, pick your poison round, so how it will work is we will be going back and forth drafting categories, starting with the player in the lead. Uh, once a category is drafted, it cannot be drafted by your opponent. Once all categories are drafted, the player behind will answer questions until they take the lead, and you will choose which category you'd like to take for what point value first, and we will go until we have a mathematical winner. And the categories that they could pick from today are fandom, classics, comic book movies, musicals, sci-fi fantasy, recent releases, action adventure, and animated. So we will let them pick their categories right now, and we'll be right back.
All right, we're back. The teams have chosen their categories. We will now start with uh, from Queer to Eternity, since they are down by two points. Uh, which category would you like first for your one pointer? How confident? Sorry, do you do you do you want to take classics for two down the line? Because I don't know how you're feeling. Um, I mean, I don't know how I'll be with classics. Okay, would you want to just do it for one then? Sure. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So then your question in the category of classics for one point. Alfred Hitchcock directed James Stewart for the fourth and last time in what 1958 thriller set in San Francisco? Vertigo, final answer. That is correct for one point. Is there collaboration in one twos now? I wasn't yeah, sure yeah. that was. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. You still got it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we will stay with you since you're still down by one point. Uh, which category would you like for your two-pointer? Recent. Recent releases, yeah. Yeah. All right. So in your question in the category of recent releases, Brad Pitt, Margot Robbie, and Diego Calva star in what recent drama? Babylon. Yeah. Babylon. Final answer. Final answer. That is correct for two points and the lead. Uh, so we will now send it back over to Tequila since they are down by one point. Which category would you like for your one pointer? Which one to go? Uh, uh, I think it's going to be action or fantasy, right? Yeah, I think action and adventure because it will probably end up with something that, you know, like franchise probably. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. We'll do, we'll do action and adventure, please. All right. So then your one-point question in the category of action slash adventure. Who stars as Hutch, a.k.a. Nobody, in the 2021 film Nobody? It's Bob Odenkirk. Yep. Bob Odenkirk, final answer. That is correct for one point and the tie game. Uh, since you guys have more uh, questions remaining, though, we will stick with you. Which category would you like for your two-pointer? So we move up to fantasy? Yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, fantasy sci-fi, please. All right, so your question in the category of sci-fi slash fantasy. Who directed all three live-action Night at the Museum films? Um, oh. Do you remember who's doing the Deadpool, the third Deadpool movie? Sean Levy. I think that's it. Five. Sean Levy, Four. final answer. Five. That is correct for two points. That's collaboration. Well done, Joe. Right well done, Joe. <laughs> well done, Joe. <laughs> I, right. I wouldn't have done it without that. So. All right. So back to From Queer to Eternity, you have musicals and animated remaining. Which would you like for your three-pointer? Musicals three? Um, yeah, let's just go musicals three. That's it. Okay. Musicals three. All right. So your question in the category of musicals. You will find the songs Sit Down John, Is Anybody There, and He Plays the Violin in what 70s musical? Sit Down John. And are there any characters named John that, in the 70s? I don't know. Vaguely, I was thinking of Jesus Christ Superstar. Uh -huh, maybe. It could be. I wouldn't mind using a repeat here just to be sure. Okay. Um, I was like, John that's Baptist also the five. first movie that came to my head, Four. so I haven't yeah. seen it. Three. Can you repeat the question? All right. That is your second repeat. Your question again. You will find the songs Sit Down, John. Is anybody there? And he plays the violin in what 70s musical? Those first two sound like Jesus Christ. Superstar. The last one I don't fucking know. But like, if we're looking at like hair or some other shit, I feel like this is the better I option. I think it's like violin and hair. So I mean, let's just go with our first instinct. And Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Jesus Bye. Christ Superstar. Final answer. Unfortunately, incorrect. Uh, we were looking for 1776. Oh, god okay. damn. Uh -huh. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. And so here's the situation we're we are in now. <laughs> here's the situation that we are in now. <laughs> they have their four point question in the category of animated. If they hit it, they will send it back over to Tequila Mockingbird for them to answer their three or four. Mm -hmm. uh, if they miss it, then Tequila Mockingbird will be the winner. So your question in the category of animated. In Osmosis Jones, Bill Murray's character, Frank, works at what type of establishment? I want to say it's a zoo. 
I'm I haven't seen this in a really long okay. time. So I feel I'm, like I remember like monkeys or animal shit or some weird stuff. Maybe there's I think balloons. I don't know. Like I have vague like pictures of zoo like things. Okay. Really stupid know, phrase. Repeat honestly, the question. I don't have a. All right. That is your final repeat. So your question again. In Osmosis Jones, Bill Murray's character Frank works at what type of establishment? Establishment is a weird fucking word. I, I can only think of a zoo. Okay, I, I really I have nothing else, so I think let's just we'll go with zoo and see if that's right. Zoo. Final answer. That is correct yeah! for four yeah! big points. <laughs> nice. Match is over All right. right? We're good? We can end now? <laughs> okay. uh, not quite. So now uh, Tequila Mockingbird has both their uh, three and four point questions remaining. If they hit either one of these, uh, they will be the winner. So now uh, you have fandom and comic book movies uh, remaining. Which would you like for your three pointer? This is the interesting one because we've both done a lot of work around mixed bag stuff as well for comic book yeah. movies. So I think either would I kind of want to do the three and in uh, in comic book movies. Yeah. Because it, there's still a chance it's something that we w would have seen recently. Um, and then we can we can just chance it for the four and, and fandom. Sure. Sounds good. We'll, we'll, we'll do comic book movies. Yeah. All right. So then potentially for the win, your three point question in the category of comic book movies. What is the specific profession of Ethan Rourke, played by Powers Booth in Sin City? Okay. We have to narrow down what political position it is. Um, mayor. I, don't think it's, I do think it's. I do think it's senator. Representative. Uh, senator. We can wait uh, to repeat on this if you want. Four. Yeah, let's just three, discuss a bit more. Repeat the question, two, please. Repeat. All right, that is your first repeat. Your question again. What is the specific profession of Ethan Rourke played by Powers Booth in Sin City? Oh, now my mind's going. So now I'm sure his, I'm, he might be a cardinal, actually, thinking about it. Cardinal Rourke rings a bell. OK, we can go with that. It's fine. Uh, we have the force good. still. Hey, hey, yeah. we, always, <laughs> we, always go, we always go with what you think. It's Five, gotten us this far. Let's do four, it. Cardinal, three. final answer. That is unfortunately incorrect. We were looking for Senator. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't matter. It might right, be so now, somebody else is a Cardinal in that movie. So now it comes down to this. Uh, we have their four point question remaining in fandom. If they hit it, they will win. If they miss it, from Queer to Eternity will be the winner. Uh, so your question in the category of fandom. Which Autobot does Optimus Prime pass the Matrix of Leadership to before he dies in 1986's tra The Transformers, the movie? Ultra Magnus. Yeah. Yeah. Ultra Magnus, final answer. And your winners, Tequila Mockingbird, Ultra <laughs> Magnus is correct. Uh, a fantastic game, 27 to 25. Uh, great game for both competitors. <laughs> Uh, we will now go to uh, post-match interviews, starting with our unfortunate second-place finishers today uh, from Queer to Eternity. Uh, guys, uh, it, it kind of came down to just uh, basically Spinner's opponent's choice in round two. Uh, also, they were able to keep pace with you in round one, which was very impressive. Uh, yeah, just unfortunately, some bad luck in round two, I think, is what did you in. But you guys played fantastic. I know we're really excited to see you back. But uh, thoughts on your uh, performance and the match overall? Yeah, today was like worst worst case scenario for basically everything. I, I twenty five points in a loss is still pretty good. I was literally, I was on call with Boatman yesterday, and I started going through like here are all the musicals that I haven't seen, and one of the first ones I said was seventeen seventy six, and it just blanked out of my fucking mind. But I was like, oh yeah, John the Baptist, and I didn't think any further. I need to not, I need to not pull a Wiley e. Coyote and just hit the fucking start of the train tunnel. I need to go all the way through and actually work through all my thoughts. But no, we did like really good. I just don't want to stay negative for long because if you're negative mm -hmm. for a while, you're just sort of in a, like a losing cycle. Yeah. can't get out of it. Mm -hmm. No, I, I, it, it sucks to lose our first match, but I mean, I think, you know, we both played a really great game. Uh, and then 
you know, with these musicals, like I, I'm realizing, okay, I need to study up on those seventies musicals. Cause that's like, yeah, era I'm, I'm really bad with. Um, and then that one, uh, Wolf of Wall Street question, I was right there. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's unfortunate, but, uh, Look, I mean, we've, like I said from last year, you guys have proven like just how great players you are. So I, I've, there's no doubt in my mind that you guys will be back uh, later this season and could make a very solid run. So when you come back, is there any team you'd be willing to play? I feel like a lot. I haven't checked the, the rankings on the website in a while. I don't know how many like negative teams you have. I think a lot of them broke up. I want to play Rewind Fuckers. That's after we get a win because I feel like we shouldn't play them at 0 1. But eventually I want revenge. Um, but yeah, I just. I think the rookie team could be nice as long as they're not like really fucking good or get 10 in round two, anything like that. I want to avoid. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. That's fair. Well, uh, great game again uh, today, guys. Uh, we look forward to seeing you back. We'll put you backstage for now. And we will be now talking to our first place finishers for this evening. Uh, tequila Mockingbird. I always uh, almost say tequila sunrise whenever I say your name. I don't know if that's just because I'm an alcoholic, uh, but <laughs> good drink. anyways, uh, I hope you guys don't take offense to me saying this, but I think if many people just were looking at like the individual players in this match and like just the run that both Matthew and Spence went on last year, I think most people would have maybe predicted that they would have won, but you guys played absolutely phenomenal, uh, really bringing the game to them from round one on and then like doing just completely capitalizing on uh, your strength in round two and getting the questions you needed in round three to get the win. Like, just a phenomenal performance in every round. I think you guys played great. So, uh, thoughts overall in the match? It definitely helps spinning a fandom strength and getting a four. Well, we got that, that put us in a position to be able to choose fandom and comic book movies for the three and the four, even though we missed comic book movies. Obviously, that I'm talking myself out of the right answer, but there you go. But... Yeah, I mean, usually I come. I, I know for myself, just last season, just watching from the sidelines and watching the run that players like Spence and, and Matthew went on. Like you watch it, you're like, damn, <laughs> damn, they're good. But yeah, I'm I'm really happy and I'm especially happy to be here uh, with Alex because I've been looking forward to this for for a while, Even just because of the name and being with Alex is great. Yeah. Uh, it's it's been a long time coming. Uh, I literally cannot believe it, uh, and I'm glad that we have it in recording. Hopefully, nothing happens to this in the edit, because uh, <laughs> I really do need people to to believe that no matter how good you are, like it can still happen. You you can get inverse chend. <laughs> Yeah, well, I believe uh, they can. The editors can correct me wrong if correct me if I'm wrong, and just completely take this part out. But I believe the next time we will be seeing you guys will be in the uh, tournament, which you guys earned a spot in definitely for winning this match. Uh, so, is there any team that you would be wanting to see in the tournament when that comes around? I don't know who plays in this league, as it is my first time here. <laughs> uh, I apologize. They are fantastic teams, I'm sure. Um, but any of them, you know, this this is a fun run. This is not like this is not like a serious bit. I watched like a movie for this, so it's you know just everybody have a good time. Yeah, I, I don't even know who's still together and who, who the new teams are. Like it changes at the start of the season. You know, you ask me in a couple of matches time if we get that far, and maybe I'll have an idea of who I want to play. But yeah, at the moment, yeah, anyone it's good fun. All right. Well, we like that attitude. Uh, great job today, guys. We'll now put you backstage uh, for now as I finish this thing out with my awkward outro, as always. Uh, thank you all for watching. I thought this was a fantastic match. Like, definitely, this is, all, I was about to say this is the best debut match that we've uh, recorded so far this season, but I think this is the first debut team's match you've done all season. It's setting a very high bar, though. Both teams played absolutely fantastic. Excited to see both of them back. Uh, so thank you all for watching. Thank you to the writers, showrunners, editors, everyone that helps make this uh, product that we put out what it is. Uh, we'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one. Bye. Goodbye. Storm in the castle. Think it'll work? Take it, take it. Bye.